I'm just glad that people care enough to hate me or care enough to love me because there's some bands out there that are super good that but no one cares and people pay attention to me regardless and I'm thankful for that. Talking about you know when the video comes out um, people were talking about the, the rapping and you know dubstep and whatever that's, <laughs> that's become part of the sound um, and then there's also there was a blog that had a, there was a rumor um, you know a few days ago that you had fired the entire band and that was the real reason you guys canceled shows and what <laughs> when you first of all how do you how do you hear about this stuff like who tells you about it and what do you think when it I got a, you hear it I got a text message from my dad because uh, my one of my nephews is a fan of the band and they're all over the internet or whatever they asked if it was true um, and it is true not true just kidding Ryan can you tell me what it was like um, when I got fired by Ronnie? yeah <laughs> Cer certain websites hate me so much that they will do anything in their power to try to strike me down which in turn drives attention to their site which in turn um, they uh, they think that that gives them more followers if they mm -hmm. make up some huge rumor about me um, they think that if it catches on then I'll fail and that they'll get what they wanted and they'll get followers out of it or whatever you know but the truth of the matter is at the end of the day the truth always comes out and you just look like an idiot mm -hmm. you know a couple of months ago there was there was some stuff that went down uh, on one of the tours and that guy had a lot of people talking with you in an opening band and um, you know, there were different videos that popped up in response to it from different sides of the fence and um, what was going through your head in sort of the aftermath of that as that was uh, I just I figured I would just not say anything and uh, I don't want to add fuel to the fire and, and bring any more attention you know no matter what anybody says you know and um, the, the truth of the matter is, is that I'm a human being. I have an anger problem and I'm an artist, so I'm crazy. It's the, like you're on stage with adrenaline pumping and, and yeah. someone says something rude to you or does something rude. If you're not in, that, if you're not in my shoes, you, you won't understand, but you know, what I did, I, I might have said some mean things and I don't want my fans to think that that's who I really am. It's just I need to learn how to control my mouth. I just want to clear up another thing that a lot of people say that, oh, it's all about, I make it all about me. I, he, I'm on the cover of my record, or, and it's all about Ronnie all the time. It's like that wasn't even my idea, you know. It's not. I want people need to know that I'm not the only one that's uh, running this ship. You know, there's I love my band. You know, Ryan's a great drummer. He's a great friend. He's always been there for me. You know, I would never turn my back on him. And it, that goes for everybody in the band, though. Like Derek, man, he like he's super quiet, but he's a good person. He's got a good heart. That's why he's still in the band, you know. Um, he's been doing it for a while. He was in the agony scene. Yeah, he's a great, he's a good person. And like, Ron, great person, great heart. He's got my back, you know. I call him uh, my bodyguard because he's short, he's small. But everywhere I go, he makes sure that I'm okay. And he's a good person, you know. It's like, I'm not going to turn my back on these people over a show not selling out, which is not even true because they were great the shows were great on that Hollywood Dead tour you know but Jackie was one of the coolest people I've met you know very talented mm -hmm. his whole story too I don't think a lot of people know this but uh, talk a little bit about um, how you guys got connected because I, 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 remember, I remember hearing about him once that he like didn't even own he didn't even have gear or something right like he was just Jackie, prodigy, Jackie became a, an amazing guitar player without, he never owned a guitar amp. It's, he sold the soul of the devil is what I, <laughs> yeah, I can't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just crazy. But 
he I went to prison and he was a fan of Escape the Fate and you know his mom so funny his mom was like he used to have your poster on the wall and then Jackie'd be like mom or whatever <laughs> and but uh, the kind such a kind hearted person he he wrote me a letter in jail and got sent from my friend and he sent me a picture because he really wanted to be in the band and it, he looked great I was like damn dude he looks really like a band member you know and then called on the phone my friend and then they three weighed him and he played something and I was like either this is fake or <laughs> this dude's really good so that's how I kind of met him yeah we're, we're a band but there has to be there has to be someone driving the ship you know what I'm saying like there's there's a guy that has vision there's a guy that has songs lyrics endless amount of material and it, it just happens to be this guy you know what I mean? call that the band boss right so every, every, every good, successful band, I feel like, has one. It's all about Ronnie. He makes it all about him. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Then don't fucking come to my shows and chant, Ronnie, Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie. Why are you coming to my shows and chanting my, me and not my band name? It's like, I try to tell my, my fans and people alike that these, they're just, you know, they do, they do the job, man. They're, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be on stage. For the most part, I just wish that the internet wasn't so filled with hate. Because I'm bringing a child into this world and I hope that it doesn't have to be like that forever. Because I can't force my child to not look at things on the internet. Because I don't want to be that guy, you know, but it's just so hateful. And it's not just towards me, it's just it's, there's so much more hate than there is good on the internet. It's like, that's where people go to, to, to hide and say mean things. And you know, I just wish it was never, it wasn't like that. You know? Isn't it the thing though too of the empty can rattles the most? You know, it's like, I've, I've talked to- That's a good analogy, yeah. Of course, people on stage, they see me on stage, I look so crazy probably. I've seen videos, I look crazy, like, I don't, get off stage and, and like, ah, you know, ah, ah, you know what I mean? But people don't know that. And people, I wish the world knew what people in my everyday life knew. What are, this would be a different story. What are some of the most important things that people in your everyday life know about you that people don't know about you online? I don't know that I'm just a normal person, you know? Like I wake up, I, use the restroom, I brush my teeth, you know, I'm a normal person, I don't know. Um, I'm just like everyone else, you know. Yeah, there are billions of people on this earth and a extremely small percentage of them that are talking crap about you on Twitter. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, so does it, what do you do to just sort of mentally put that aside and carry I, I don't. I don't go on Twitter anymore. I haven't been on that. Oh, that's right. You actually, and actually, you deleted all of your. I, I didn't. Uh, my manager, my team runs everything now. I you feel just like. Handed over the keys. I remember. I remember even like two years ago, we were joking about how. I needed Brad mittens. Was saying you needed mittens. Because <laughs> yeah. I was a dick, man. Yeah. I was such an asshole. Like, of course, people are gonna talk shit to me. I'm like, fuck you, you mother back in the day. You know, I don't do that anymore. Yeah. I feel like from then to now, I grew up a lot, and it. It's crazy to see, you know, I'm very, a lot more laid back now, but um, I deleted the tweet, I had them deleted and I don't look at them anymore and I don't tweet and they tweet pictures and I, I don't mess with that anymore because I feel like the mystique is lost these yeah. days with fans and people alike feeling entitled to knowing what you're doing and if, you, if, they, if they don't, then you're an enemy. Like, you're the bad person if they don't, if you, like, why didn't you post your, what you were eating for dinner, a picture right. of it, Ronnie, you, you piece of shit? It's like, you know, so it's just like, I don't want to be on the internet for a while because I want to kind of keep the mystique as much as possible. I honestly, like, I find myself not trying to thrive on it. Uh, negative attention. I used to be a person that wanted attention so bad I would go to Great Lakes to get people to laugh at me and be the class clown. And I've grown up a lot since then, I feel. I just 
don't want to, I don't want drama that's useless drama, you know. Jackie told me, Jackie was so smart and it was so crazy coming from him. He said, how long are you going to feel bad for being yourself? That's what he said to me on tour, this tour. And I was like, I went back into my, my room and I just thought about that. I was like, that is some of the most valuable information that someone of his age and anybody could give you, you know? It's like, how long am I gonna feel bad for just being myself? It's like, I'm just gonna be myself. I'm just gonna be myself. You're not tweeting, are you? No.